So a question many have now is about this propylene gas and how that could affect you if you're in that area, if you're breathing it in. We know this is always a concern when we have had fires like this from chemical plants. So I'm going to just go off my notes here because I have been texting with Dr. Noreen Khan Mayberry. She was about to board a flight, so we were only able to speak um, just by texting, but she gave me some quick information. And this is a resource we've gone to when we've had these chemical plant fires and dealing with the, the air quality and what people should be looking out for. So here are a couple notes. She said if you are in the area closest with a high concentration, it could be a respiratory hazard. If you're someone who suffers from a condition, she said there might also be some mild eye and skin irritation if you're breathing it in directly. Um, she says take extra caution for those with asthma and allergies and protect your skin, especially if you take medication that makes your skin sensitive. So these are just a couple things to worry about. Right now, Alita Lareska tracking very calm winds, which means uh, five miles per hour or less. So not a major concern for being downwind at this time. We'll continue to follow that. But now we want to get...